Welcome back to Fingers Bricks, everybody. My name is Ben. The 2023 year is coming to a close, and we have had a lot of amazing sets released this year. Now, I want to focus on the top 10 LEGO sets that were released in 2023, and we'll include a few honorable mentions as well. So let's not waste any time, and let's get started. Now, before we get started, there's a few things I want to mention. The first thing is that the top 10 sets that we're about to run through is not based off of the best selling, most sold, or best investment sets for 2023. This is purely for fun, but I would love to hear your comments and your thoughts down in the comments section after we run through this video. Thirdly, we are on our journey to reach 1,000 subscribers, and we're almost there. We're at about 970-ish subscribers, and our next big giveaway is actually going to be at that 1,000 subscriber mark. So make sure you get in, make sure you subscribe, and stay tuned for some of the fun videos that we're going to have to come. But let's not waste any more time. Jump right into number 10 and get started. All right, it's finally time to get this list started. Coming in at number 10, we have set number 71799, Ninjago City Markets. This set was released on October 5th of 2023, retails for $369 and has 6,163 pieces, including 21 minifigures. 19 of these 21 minifigures are actually exclusive to this set, and this set is huge. All the pieces come in about 52 bags, sits on two 32 by 32 base plates and measures 20 by 10 by 18 inches. A couple of my favorite details in this set are the working toilet, <laughs> the operational gondola, and the unique pieces to make that bridge out front. Moving on to number nine, we have set 21341, the Lego Ideas Hocus Pocus set, or aka the Sanderson Sisters House. This set released back in July 1st, 2023, retailed for $229.99 and has 2,316 pieces and includes six minifigures. The six minifigures that you get in this set are Winifred, Mary, Sarah, Danny, Allison, Max, and Banks. This set is based off of the 1993 movie release, and the set is jam-packed with details. I'm excited to grab one for my greener area in 2024. As we move into spot number eight, just a little insight is that I don't collect a ton of Star Wars sets. But coming in at number eight, we do have set 75367, the UCS Venator Classic Republic Attack Cruiser. Now, this set it was released October 1st, 2023, retails for a whopping $649.99. Yes, steep price tag. Has 5,374 pieces, but unfortunately, only too many figures. We had Admiral Eulerin and updated phase two Captain Rex. Now, although it has that steep price point and only too many figures. I absolutely love the look of this UCS display piece. The colors are beautiful and I love the overall design. And don't forget the cool box art that is inside too. Definitely one to check out as we approach 2024. Coming in at number seven, we have a set that just came out and that is set 21344, the Lego Ideas Orient Express. Now, this set was released December 1st, as I mentioned, just came out, 2023, retails for $209.99, has 2,540 pieces, and eight minifigures. I'm really excited that they changed the original color of Earth Green, which I completely forgot about, to that new Earth Blue. The Earth Blue and the gold windows work really, really well together. I also actually really like this, and I didn't notice this until I saw a review on this, that they put the touch of adding eight cities the train is stopping at on top of one of the cars. Super really cool detail that I missed the first time around. This set would look great in our city. I'm not going to lie, and I'm actually pretty tempted to run to the store right now and grab one to include into our LEGO city. As I was reviewing for this top 10 list, I got pretty excited for number six as it fits right into our Lego city. Here at number six, we have set 10312, the Lego Icons Jazz Club. And this has been released for almost a full year now as it was released back January 1st of 2023. This set retails for $229.99, has 2,899 pieces and eight minifigures. And let's start with the best news first. This set has absolutely no stickers. Now, the white manual itself that they moved to is kind of ugly, but to be honest, the no stickers thing kind of overpowers it for me. The Jazz Club is the 18th modular in the modular line and has the second most minifigures with eight. And that's something that I didn't even know. I know that this set has received some negative feedback on the colors, the size, but overall, this set 
was a solid release from Lego, and I was honestly pretty excited that it was part of the Montreal line. Coming in at number five. Now, this set was hard for me because I honestly could have put this as my number one or as low as my number five. I ended up going with number five just because there's a few other sets I want to mention, but this is set 21338, the Lego Ideas A-Frame Cabin. This was released back in February 1st, 2023. Retails for $179.99 and includes 2,082 pieces with four pretty cool minifigures. I will say that this was one of the most satisfying builds that I've done. It has so many little details and is one of the high, one that I highly suggest that you pick up coming up here in 2024. Some of those cool details include using the hammers as stones underneath the front porch, some of the beautifully built trees using Technic pieces, and the little otter that fits in with the little water or creek area. The only thing that is a small dislike for me is that when you connect the trees and the other sections together, it doesn't necessarily fit on a 32 by 32 base plate, but overall, absolutely love this set and definitely deserves to be in our top five. Next up, number four, set 43222, the new and improved Disney Castle. Not the old Disney Castle, not 71040, the new and improved Disney Castle. Now this set was released July 1st, 2023, retails for $399.99, includes 4,837 pieces and eight minifigures. Those eight minifigures included, and I actually had to write this down because there's so many, is Cinderella, Snow White, Tiana, Rapunzel, Prince Charming, Prince Naveen, Flynn Rider, and Prince Dorian. Whew. All, be all but Tiana actually make their debut in this set, and this was the remake, like I mentioned, of the original Disney Castle. Similar style, stands pretty similar in height, a little bit above the original Disney Castle at 31 inches tall, but does have that similar open dollhouse-like effect in the back. Although I really like the new Disney Castle, really the biggest change is just the color scheme and minifigures. Not much else has changed, but it's definitely something that if you're big into collecting the Disney sets, I highly suggest picking it up and I can't wait to get the new one, put that in the Lego City and then take the old Disney Castle or the original Disney Castle and put it up on our shelf. Sliding in at number three, we have set 76417, a Harry Potter set. It is Green Gats the Wizarding Bank. This set was released September 1st earlier this year. Retails for $429.99, includes 4,800 pieces and 13 minifigures. Finally, Harry Potter fans get Green Gots this year after getting Diagon Alley back in 2020. It has been a while that people have been waiting on this set. I love the design and attention to detail with inclusion of Green Gots, the bank structure, and this is definitely one that I plan on trying to pick up in 2024 as long as we have the funds to do so. We have made it to our top two. Coming in at number two, we have set 10316, Lego Icons, the Lord of the Rings, Rivendell. Now this set released March 5th of this year, retails for $500, includes 6,167 pieces and 15 in minifigures. After a large hiatus, I believe it's 10 years that Lego Lord of the Rings was gone, it is now back and mandated to deliver on this set. When watching reviews on this set, I know I've been watching them for pretty much the entire year, I was blown away with how much fun people look like they're having when they're building this. The landscape, the trees, and really some of the other details are amazing. And this is going to be another monster that we're going to add to our list for here in 2024. And hopefully we can grab it on a double VIP weekend or potentially when we have 20% off on certain sets like we saw at the end of this year around Black Friday. We have made it to set number one on our list of top 10 sets that were released here in 2023. Now, if you've seen our past video, you probably know exactly what this set is going to be. It is the set 76269, the Marvel Avengers Tower. Now, again, kind of gave it away in our last video when I mentioned that this is my favorite set in the Lego City. It was probably one of my favorite builds that I've ever done. And so I did want to give a little bit more detail around this, but I hate to say that I gave it away in our last video. Now, this set released Black Friday. I know it comes in for a whopping $500, and I totally understand if this is out of people's price range because it was kind of out of mine. The only reason that I was able to afford this is I was able to get the three GWPs that came with it, especially the exclusive taxi that came with it. We were able to sell that for 75. We were able to sell the other two, the Santa's Workshop and the Magisto's Magical Workshop. I think I messed one of those up, but we were able to sell all three of those for around $120. So lower that price from 500 to around 380. And that was a much more reasonable price for this set, especially when you look at how many pieces this set comes with. The 500 price point is high, but I really do believe that with 5,200 pieces and then also coming in with 31 minifigures, this set 
more than likely is reasonably priced at MSRP. But I do think that we're going to get more sales going on here coming up in 2024 and definitely look for a double VIP weekend to potentially pick this bad boy up. But let's talk a little bit more about the details. Now, if you didn't get a chance to see our video right off the bat, please make sure you go check that out. I'll make sure to post a link up here. And again, I had a ton of fun building this set and I know that you guys will too. I love the different minifigures, the attention to detail on the outside and inside, and really the different references that it makes on the inside and really how you can mold the different minifigures to recreate some different scenes from the MCU. Now, although there were four over 400 window pieces, this is hands down, like I said, my favorite set in our LEGO city. So definitely check this out and pick one up if you get a chance. So I know we just went through our top 10 sets of 2023, and I love all 10 of these sets, but there are so many other sets that I want to include on this list, primarily because there are other sets that I want to pick up myself. Now, although they didn't make our top 10, I want to go through a few honorable mentions that I think deserve to get a shout out, especially because there's so many awesome sets. The first one I want to talk about is the El Dorado Fortress. This set is amazing. For anybody that collects castles, I think that this is a must-have, especially with the cool different colors and other different unique pieces that it comes with. The next one I want to talk about is the Hogwarts Castle and Ground. I really think that if you're a Harry Potter fan, this is an awesome display piece that would look in good in an office or on top of any sort of shelf that you're using to display Lego. The next one I want to talk about is the Viking Village. I think that this set is awesome. I'm actually really excited to get this, especially at the price point that it's at. I think that it's either great for a parts pack to part this set out for future builds or to try to include it in some sort of Viking Village that you have, that you've started within your LEGO City. The next one I want to talk about is the Walt Disney Tribute Camera. This is one I plan on picking up as soon as possible. I'll probably end up picking it off of picking up off of Amazon, primarily because I think I have some points that I could probably pick it up for pretty cheap. So definitely one set that I'm going to be looking at just because of the exclusive Walt Disney uh, minifigure with on the inside, but also just overall the camera looks really cool. It's going to be a great display right next to our Steamboat Willie set. So the next set that we have, we have the UCS X-Wing. I know that there's been a few UCS X-Wings, and I do think that this set kind of trumps all of them when you look at the different pieces that they use to create such an awesome and detailed set. Next, I struggled with this one, but I do really love two of these, these battle packs. The first one is the 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper Battle Pack, and after that we have the 501st Clone Trooper Battle Pack that was released in 2023. The other couple that I want to mention, we have the Up House, which is just a, just a classic. I really wish that this was a complete modular and the back was complete as well, but definitely something I may try to pick up two of them. Even if it's just a display on the shelf, I do think that this is a staple set if you are a Disney fan. The next I want to talk about is Alpine Lodge. My goal for next year is we are going to create a winter village. I've seen so many people do it, looking at Brixie, Amasaurus, and some of these other big YouTubers. I want to have that because I think it looks gorgeous and we're going to be starting with that. Make sure you stay tuned because we're going to be building the Kevin McAllister's Home Alone house coming up here in our next video. Last one I want to talk about is the Botanical Garden. I know some friend sets don't necessarily get the love that they should and I have seen so many cool mocks of the Botanical Garden and utilizing one, two, or even three of those sets to create a beautiful masterpiece. So there are some of my honorable mentions for 2023. We are finally done listing the sets that were released in 2023. Although we didn't get to all of them, we listed quite a few that I really thought were some of the top sets. If I missed any or if you want to drop your top 10 lists that were released in 2023 down in the comment section, please make sure you do so. I appreciate all the support again. Please make sure you like, subscribe as we are still on our journey to get to 1,000. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.